what is going on youtube hope you guys are all having a great day so far i'm completely fucked i don't know if you guys can see it i i i was on a break i haven't posted in a couple of days because i got surgery i got my my uh, thing on my high removed I, I i learned it like on three days notice uh, they called me like oh we have a spot for you to get surgery and uh, so i said yes had some pre-operation um meetings and all of that took some blood tests a lot of cardiac tests and all so uh, that's why i haven't been posting i got surgery two days ago it's been like 48 hours and uh yeah as you guys can see i got a black eye from jack high bro i'm completely fucked i can't i can't i legit can't see anything with my left eye uh but yeah once the the swelling's gonna go down i'm gonna look completely normal for the first time in my life because uh the, the, the type of tumor I had on my left eye is a thing you get from, from Bert. So, yeah, I finally got it removed after, like, 12 years of waiting. And, yeah, it hurts like a bitch. But, uh, yeah, I've, I decided to post a video because I've, I've been feeling a lot better today. So, yeah, we're back to make a, a quick video talking about Josh Anderson. We're here to talk about Josh Anderson. But, yeah, before we get into that, you better subscribe. I'm making videos looking like this. Uh, that's pure dedication. So if you're not subscribed, subscribe and leave a like. Let's try and get 150 likes on this video. That would be amazing. And I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry for my looking my look right now. Uh, it's not that bad, actually. It's not that bad. It was a lot worse yesterday. A lot worse yesterday. So, yeah, Josh Anderson. Uh, there's been some more rumors talking about him uh, a lot uh, of rumors. Apparently, there are three teams that are now finalists in the Josh Anderson Derby. Uh, it's looking more and more likely for him to get traded at the trade deadline. Apparently, the three teams that are on Josh Anderson are the Edmonton Oilers, the Calgary Flames. So, um, the, the Alberta teams are looking to add up Josh Anderson in their team. And the third team is the New Jersey Devils. We already talked about the Calgary Flames. We already talked about the New Jersey Devil. We haven't talked about uh, the Edmonton Orders because there were not really any rumors talking about Josh Anderson going to Edmonton. But there's also a rumor saying that uh, the Canadians might keep him to trade Henderson this summer to bring Pierre-Luc Dubois. If you had up a prospect, a pick, and... Anderson, you could decently get Pierre-Luc Dubois. Let's say you had up um, Philip Machar, uh, a draft pick, and Josh Anderson. I think that it's legit that the Canadians could get a shot at Pierre-Luc Dubois. So you can also add up um, the Winnipeg Jets into that list, but that wouldn't be at the trade deadline. That would most likely be at the draft or a, a couple of weeks before the draft. So yeah, apparently the Canadians has been going all around. It's been going all around. Apparently they're... they're Thought you've been starting to look up and shop for Josh Anderson. We're going to look at this. We're going to look at this. The Calgary Flames, we've said it multiple times. Jacob Pitsy is a guy, Dawson Wolf, uh, maybe a draft pick. But at this point, the Canadians, I think that they're going to be looking. They have a ton of draft picks. They have a ton of prospects. So they're going to be looking at prospects that are, are a bit older, like in their 20, 24. 21, 22, uh, or some players, some young players that are already established in the National Hockey League. That's what they're most likely uh, to look at uh, on other teams. So Dustin Wolf makes sense. Jacob Pelletier makes sense. Um, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, when you look at the New Jersey Devils, they have Alexander Olds. They have a lot of young guys. Uh, they could give out some so draft picks. And before you say that Josh Anderson is not worth an Alexander Holt or uh, a good player like that, just look at what uh, the Tampa Bay Lightning gave away for Barkley Goodrow a couple, a couple of years back. They gave out two first-round picks to the San Jose Sharks for Barkley Goodrow. So a guy like Josh Anderson could get a lot of value back to the Montreal Canadiens. So to say Alexander Holtz is certainly a possibility. Let's be honest, it is a possibility. Uh, and if they could uh, make a, a, a swap for uh, Anderson, they take on a big contract to the Calgary Flames, for example. They take on Milan Lucic with Dustin Wolf or Jacob Pelletier with the draft pick. 
It would make a lot of sense too. You can get a guy that is ready to make the jump in the National Hockey League. Um, you can get a, a goalie for the future. You can get a decent draft pick on top of that. So uh, those are some, certainly some legitimate options that the Canadians need to look at, at least at the trade deadline, because they're going to get a lot of calls for Josh Anderson. There are probably some other teams that are going to join the discussion, some teams that are going to be the playoffs, some teams that need a big guy to go deep in the playoff that can score some big goals. That's a clutch guy that that gives some hits because when you look at josh anderson he's at his best in rivalry games when the canadians are facing the leafs he's at his best and in the playoff run for the canadians um when they went to the stanley cup final he was one of the best players on the ice and the same thing with the blue jackets when the blue jackets sweeped the the tampa bay lightning it was a big part of that series as well uh back in the 2018 uh, playoffs i think it was 2017 2018 somewhere around that um so yeah definitely josh anderson will bring a lot of interest and for the edmonton orders i'm not quite sure what they could give out um jesse poluyarvi has been linked to the canadians he could be a part of the package deal but 1v1 anderson for poluyarvi is just like it's just nonsense you've been seeing people saying oh Anderson for pro urv 1v1 you're crazy man if you think that's gonna happen uh josh anderson is worth thousand times more than uh, Paul Yarvi. Paul Yarvi is probably worth a fifth round pick at this point. Uh, but I think that he could be a nice addition to the Montreal Canadiens. Uh, he's a player that might need um, a more offensive role to to kind of break out. And I think that with Martin St. Louis and what the Canadiens have been doing over the last, season, uh, the last season and a half, I think that it would be a perfect fit for the guy. So if they can bring Paul Yarvi in that deal, if they trade Josh Anderson to the Edmonton Oilers, I think that that would be Really, really cool to see. I think that it's not too late for Paul Uh He got some flashes in the National Hockey League. He got some periods when he, when he was getting a lot of points. Uh, he's inconsistent. He lacks a bit of self-confidence. Uh, but uh, he's definitely a talented player that could really, really be good for the Canadian. I'm not saying he's going to be a point-per-game guy, but he definitely has what it takes, I think, in my opinion, uh, skill-wise, talent-wise, uh, to be like a 40 to 50 point guy in his prime in the National Hockey League. And with his size, it's, it's useful to have a guy like that on uh, your bottom six. Really, really useful. So yeah, Xavier Bourgo also. They, they have a couple of guys that can um, be added into the tr a package deal to, to get Josh Anderson. But I don't think that they are the most likely. I think that the most likely team to land Josh Anderson are the New Jersey Devils. Uh, they need a top six forward to add uh, to their core. Uh, they need to add up some some size a little bit to to their young core. They have a couple of, of smaller guys, so to add a guy like Josh Anderson, I think would be the perfect fit for them to 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 kind of join up uh, the the bigger teams in the Western Conference and the and the Atlantic as well. So yeah, the Devils definitely are are the team that need a Josh Anderson the most, and on those three teams, and I think that they're the the ones that have. Uh, the most valuable assets to, to give back to the Montreal Canadiens. So if I could bet, I would probably say that Josh Anderson is going to be in New Jersey Devils at the trade deadline. Either that or either they're going to wait for uh, this summer to trade him to Winnipeg and try to make a package deal to get Pierre-Luc Dubois finally in Montreal. So yeah, let me know what you guys all think about this in the comments below. Uh, I'm, I'm, I might be active again. I might not. Depends on how that thing is going to evolve. But uh, yeah. Uh, I'll see y'all later for another video. Have a nice rest of your day and bye-bye.